Usually when I'm playing Boom Beach, the sound is off or I can't hear it. So just hearing the building noises uh, earlier today was kind of cool. So that's what that was about. But we're going to be getting to level 74, I hope, today. I think this is going to put us over. If not, I'm going to be a bit mad. But we're going to diamond this up. Oh, wait. I think I have some uh, bought diamonds here. So we got to make sure to get our creator code cosmic plugged in. Definitely not hinting that you should get... Uh, code cosmic plugged in as well but if you do we would greatly appreciate it let's diamond it up and there it is finally level 74 in boom beach it took six months ish to get here since the last hq update um and i think we have like 11 12 upgrades left until we're maxed out for this level until boom beach comes out with another update for uh or just another hq level because that's what it seems like the updates have been the past few times but anyway we're gonna be doing the cryo crab only on stage 26 but I've been using scorchers you know get some fire and ice here honestly I, I've been like force closing out of the game to do some attacks and one time basically just makes it so you're like an AFK attack you let the troops do your thing and uh, I, I actually lost a battle I think it was like stage 24 I think and I looked at the health on the core it was like an artillery away from getting taken out. I was like, oh my gosh, I got greedy. Usually I do that up to like stage 25 and I've had it a couple times where I've just lost a battle and it's unfortunate because you lose an attack, but also a lot of mega crabs, I don't use up all my attacks. I just get to like a parking point and um, so I can like get a diamond trophy or whatever and then get uh, as much raw crystals loot upgrades worth and then after that it's just it's kind of a pain to get through it it's a big time commitment but here's stage 26 using all scorchers eventually i'll probably transition over to um scorchers bombardiers or something like that 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 has been proven successful ish for me but what i want to do i think i'm going to go check out the leaderboards after this for mega crab and then uh, see what like strats the top people are using assuming I can scout out their base I, I've never done it before so watch the display name just be visible But you can't actually scout out their base that'd be a bit sad But also that would be kind of cool at the same time because then you can keep your strats to yourself And don't have to share them with other people you're really competing with but uh, it, It's probably not just a, a clear-cut strat that like adapts to every stage it definitely depends on which stage you're attacking what the layout looks like and all that but who knows maybe learn learn a new strat a couple of tips and tricks always open to that even if i'm bad but let's see so we got a 177 global let's see can we scout we cannot scout okay what about us all right so these yeah they just they just th show the list and not uh, unlike the regular leaderboards, you just can't scout them out. I'm sure you might be able to find out who there are, who they are sometimes, and then visit their base via tag. But it's a little too much work for what I'm doing. But I guess that is cool. They're keeping the strats close to home, not not really revealing who it is. By the way, if you are interested, we are giving away a Boom Beach fan box. It's a cool little boom beach memorabilia box from supercell we have one to give away um, we're doing that on our discord server link will be in the third line of the description you do have to be 13 and up but it's a pretty cool box and worth it to enter let's get our first cryo bomb out see so it looks like we got most of the uh, boom cannons and cannons in there a couple toward the back we were unable to hit um, but cryo bombs are not infinite and that cryo bomb kind of ran out quick we're gonna throw another one and now i think we're just gonna get some shock bombs out and we should be good once we get by that i mean there's some boom cannons by the hq actually what i'm gonna do we're gonna do a double barrage here a couple artillery try and take out that clump and then i will be feeling confident after that because there's a point where all scorchers just kind of falls off and i'm scared because i lost one of the like afk attacks at 24 at that point is coming soon um i also have a lot less statues than i'm used to on the offensive side i i had extra troop health and troop damage and gbe but i've switched them out for this mega crab alone we'll see how much i get but i do have uh, i think three maybe four power stone chance statues so it, it's more than normal and we had to sacrifice on some of the offense but also 
We're just happy we're getting Power Stones. I don't know what effect it actually has on events like Mega Crab um, or Dr. T or something like that. Because I feel like the loot is it, it's pretty inelastic when it comes to that. But, I mean, I got, I got boosted. I got my Masterpiece boosted for Power Stone Chance. And um, we only get a Shard and three Fragments. It's, like, stuff like that makes me think it is not does not affect the mega crab i could be wrong but if so it it just doesn't seem like it maybe power stone chance just isn't worth it all the time but you gotta build up your power powder somehow because i was i was spending quite a bit of power powder we want to get a reserve going so we can always be cooking up a masterpiece to convert to power powder and we're running low there for a second so we got to build up for i think it's been uh probably two weeks since i started doing this and um, I think we're gonna go month, month and a half, maybe. Maybe I'll, I'll be stacking up regular statues, or like the replacement um, statues for when I do it. And then hopefully by next Mega Crab, we're able to switch over and get more offensive. But I'm not sure what the next Mega Crab is. Maybe, maybe I won't even need to because there'll be an insane boost. And we'll get to where we're wanting. I, I kind of hope we get, um, what was it, like two, three Mega Crabs ago? We had the laser tron for it and it was just absolutely by the way we are starting to struggle here we got to get rid of these doom cannons all right um i'm gonna flare to the left here i should have done this a long time ago we got a good path going over here and we're just losing scorchers necessarily but yeah i kind of hope we get like rainmakers or critter cannons even uh, didn't we no we had critter cannons for a mega crab i i hope we get rainmaker next Although, I think Lasertrons, I like them more than Rainmakers, but since we already had uh, Lasertrons, we probably won't get them again at least until the next cycle, I'm not sure. Um, but anyway, this is going to be tough because we have some boom surprises to worry about, and we've lost uh, more, than our, more than a handful of Scorchers at this point. But as soon... Let's get a cryo bomb out. Maybe that'll help out the cause. I'm just not sure how we're looking. Once we, oh my gosh, look at the. Okay, dude. Okay, I was I was thinking about med kitting him up just to see if we could sustain him for a second. Probably not a good idea. But also, med kits would have been better than throwing nothing. But it looks like we're gonna lose another attack here on stage 28. You know what that means? This was not an AFK attack, even if it looks like I am AFK during the attack. Sometimes. This was not an AFK attack. We're going to switch it up to Scorchers, Bombardiers, and I was thinking Cryoneers, but I don't think Cryoneers will be good. That's like kind of my normal strat. Um, but this is the Cryo Crab, meaning Cryoneers have speed, and they're just going to go out and die. So it might be more beneficial to just bring uh, probably like f five boats of Scorchers, three boats of Bombardiers. If we had the Shock in here, that would be very nice for the mega crab but we got rid of that like a little bit ago what was it like last week we had it or two weeks ago but anyway stage 28 should be able to finish this one up here we'll get our troops down and those rocket launchers are gonna kill some of my bombardiers aren't they how how how, how was it still targeting that one it was under smoke i don't see how you could see it but we're just going to smoke them out, and that should be good. All right, the passive critter spawn will help us escape there, but now we should be fine just to kind of rush it. Ooh, I don't like that flare I just did because I forgot we have the bombardiers to worry about, and they are going to get kind of close to those rocket launchers, or like close enough to the scorchers where the rocket launchers could affect them. But we are going to get some shocks out because there is a laser beam, and we don't want that. Uh, hitting our bombardiers, but we should be fine for this, and I say that in the rocket launcher I was so worried about starting hitting on my bombardiers, but we still have all of our bombers alive, um, so our worries should be put to rest here, and assuming we can take out this laser beam, I can't even see where it is, okay, it did not kill any bombardiers yet, so that's fine, it, oh my gosh, our scorchers, uh, I think we just lost two of them. We'll spam some artillery, and that should be good for stage 28. This feels... I, I don't remember st stage 28 being this uh, stressful, but then again, I am not good 
so we'll deal with that but all right on to 29 there's always like one stage in the 20s that gives me troubles i guess that was it ed this one could as well i think this is gonna be our final stage for right now I, my boosts are running out soon because i boosted up to speed through the first like 25 or so i really don't like this layout just gives me nightmares sometimes but let's let's not uh, chicken out here and go for it um, get rid of the front crowd bombs and get our scorchers down and our bomb deers and our ever spark can't forget her somehow a scorcher got hit by that cryo bomb um, but we are gonna get a shock over here because they are destroying the, the building damage is getting to the point where uh, you can noticeably see the scorchers just losing health but i guess that's what happens when you got so many cannons and boom, boom cannons next to each other but um seems like a early progression of the uh building damage type stuff but anyway our troops getting destroyed by cryo bombs that that actually might be helpful in a sense because our bombardiers are free and our scorchers are slowed and that like intentionally makes it so they don't just wander off and screw up screw up the whole attack helps to an extent i say that and then some rocket launchers just destroyed my bombardiers i should have been paying attention to that we're gonna get rid of the cry bomb over here um but now how do i want to reposition i think i'm gonna go back here and reposition this could be an ugly area because of the boom cannons i'm gonna get a cryo bomb out i don't think we're gonna beat this stage it's too early to be losing. Come on, man. Um, maybe I should be bringing Kavan instead so I can revive the Scorchers. That might be the move, but also Kavan has a tendency to die with... Okay, I just threw an artillery over there. Looks like the Scorcher got the Cryobomb himself, but or herself. Um, I forget our Scorchers. They get the them and tanks. Are they both women in the capsule or whatever? Um, but anyway, how are we looking? We have some we have some shield generators to get through, but yeah, I think we're gonna have to spend another attack. My, mm, you know what could be, you know what it could be. I could be starting to notice the effects of having like three, four less offensive statues boosted up. Um, now that I think about, it, I mentioned that at the beginning and totally disregarded regarded it but this is I'm, I'm starting to suffer a little bit here i'm getting i'm exposing myself for who i really am a bad player but that's okay we'll we'll try and power through we'll still get to stage 60 and get our diamond trophy to make us feel better help us sleep at night and then maybe next time i'll come with all offensive well actually next mega crab i might be maxed out fully on my base so i won't need the resource reward statue so that's an extra one and then i might have like six thousand power powder i'm at 900 now but who knows maybe the statues will actually have an effect one day and we'll get up to nine thousand power powder so we'll get rid of all of our power stone chance and just have full offensive statues that would be a dream but uh, i think we have one bombardier left by the way we got through all the shield generators i didn't think that was gonna happen i thought we were gonna fizzle out before then but now our troops are uh our troops, meaning our two bombardiers remaining, are just going to get exposed here. Hopefully this one can get an attack off before it dies. Come on. Oh, so close. It was setting up. Both of them didn't get it off. That kind of surprised me. Um, but now we have an easy stage 29 to finish off. But we are going to have to uh, get down to business here. Because we, be, we can't be losing attacks this early, or at least that many attacks. If we lose one or two, I can, I can live with that. I can accept who I am, a, a very flawed player, and um, for my level, and you know, we we can move on. But oh my gosh, I thought the rocket launchers were aiming at the bombardiers there. I was like, there is no way they are still in range. But it was just the critters. So, all right, the paranoia is starting to happen. That's how that's how phased we are from this cryo crab. I don't know if we have any like New Zealand or Australian views viewers, but is it like confusing to you? Because I think it's like the summer months there and it's a cryo crab. Like how does it feel to be so off from the rest of the world? Um, I guess 
guess it's like uh, I guess it's like summer in South America and all that too so if you're in the southern hemisphere how does it feel that Boom Beach does not care it, it should be like Scorcher Crab right now for you guys but it's actually Cryo Crab um, representing the winter months in the northern he hemisphere but I guess maybe maybe it's not that big of a deal to you but I, I envy the warmth currently because I'm getting sick of the cold, but we have a cryo crab to power through first. Um, but level 74, let's see what we can get for our next upgrade. I'll just go for the MG. Here, let's just, let's just take an observation. I think that's the rest of the upgrades I really need uh, to get to max level. I don't know if there's any, maybe I just don't have enough loot, but... I usually tend to upgrade the higher loot ones first and then trickle down to the inexpensive ones because that is like the storages and all that. But there we go. Spent our loot. I guess we're going to convert to our, our gold. I should, pro I should probably give myself a bigger gold reserve than 500,000 at this point. But hopefully we can get lucky with the next stage. But that's going to be it. Thanks for sticking to the end. We'll see you guys in tomorrow's Boom Beach video. Bye-bye. Oh,